digital summer vacation. Ha <laughs> ha, I love it. Greetings and salutations. Bonjour, mes amis. Wadja. I am coming to you somewhat live from the small community of Rosso, Ontario. Rosso, for some of you who don't know or might not know, is a place where anything could happen and anyone could show up. You might see Kurt Russell, although he doesn't have a house here anymore, but he did, and at one time you could see him. Also, Martin Short. Also, a whole bunch of other people that I can't remember right now, but they might be here and we might see them, maybe. As you can see, Rosso on market days is quite busy. I wouldn't recommend trying to park on the main street, but if you're lucky, take a side street and you might actually find yourself a spot. But it's first come, first serve, so get here early and be prepared to stay here late. Another added bonus are the outhouses. Notice how this one has a cover over it and a structure. I think that might have been because somebody was doing the whole tipping of outhouses. Not that I'd know anything about that. That was a long time ago. Hi, I'm a trash panda. You may have seen me in such shows as Garbage Day and The Night Before Garbage Day. I don't have any children at present, but I am looking for a mate. So come find me, either in a tree or at a garbage disposal area. I await your rendezvous. And there's the famous Rosso General Store. It's famous because it's in Rosso and it's really old. But there's a lot of cool stuff in it. I'm telling you, you gotta check this place out at least once in your life. You're gonna find everything in there from hardware to sweatshirts to sweatpants, double XL. So everyone's gonna find something they enjoy. Well, almost everyone. So here is the Rosso dock area where you can see the beautiful Lake Rosso. I hope it's Lake Rosso. I don't really know Rosso very well because I usually just drive through it because there's not a lot to do in Rosso except if you're here on market days, which I am for the first time. If you plan on coming down to the Rosso market, come down and be prepared to spend a few hours walking around. So bring comfortable and sensible shoes. Also, if you're hungry and don't want to walk all the way down to the waterfront, you can hang out at the fried truck and get satisfied. Who doesn't want to get satisfied? It's not easy being a beaver, especially in Rosso on market days. Something that not everybody may know is that Rosso has its own labyrinth. It's a meditative labyrinth is what I've been told. So I don't expect to see David Bowie, partly because he's dead, but also, I don't expect to see a minotaur, because if I did, I think I'd probably need the out house. This is the labyrinth that I was telling you about. People walk it for meditative purposes. I'm not sure how meditative I feel, but we're gonna try it anyway. I was just told, walk on the grass, not the stone. The stone will get you lost. Maybe it's meant to happen that I get lost in a floor-based labyrinth. So much, so much to see and do in Rosso. Well, that's it for me. I've spent all the money I have and I now have to go home and start packing for my trip back up north. So, thank you very much for watching. Merci beaucoup. Wadja, we'll talk to you later. Come on down to Rosso. You'll be glad you did. Your feet might not, but you'll be glad you did. Smokey the Bear says only you can prevent forest fires. Well, and people that smoke because they drop their butts out their windows. Tom Cruise is here? What do you mean Tom Cruise is here?